Hi. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, I know. But I am back and I have a lot of explaining to do, obviously. But today we are going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me, while I do this fun look. Um, I wanted to kind of sit down, talk with you guys, catch you up on some things in my life. Um, what happened, kind of where I've been, what I've been doing, what's been going on, life changes, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, if you want to hear me blab for a while, then go ahead and, uh, just stay tuned. Um, but before that, if you are glad to see me back, um, don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe if you have not. Also, click the little notification bell and, uh, be notified of every single upload. I'm going to be trying to upload at least once a week. Uh, with my new schedule, so hopefully that'll work. Um, but yeah, so let's get into the video. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so, it has been a long time since I've filmed. Um, so yeah, this is kind of weird. I don't know. I am going to try to film a few videos today and see what I can come up with uh, for you guys. Um, I haven't filmed in like months. Um, the last thing I actually filmed was my Japan haul. So I hope you guys will enjoy. I'll kind of try to catch you guys up on everything that's been going on since I've been gone. YouTube, what's been going on, why I've been MIA, all that fun stuff. So let's get into the get ready with me. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos, some more chit chatty, get ready with me, please let me know and give this video a thumbs up. I'm not really gonna talk about the products that I'm using, just kind of, I don't know, kind of share with you guys what I'm using, I guess, I don't know. I'm going to use a um, hydrating primer. It's not cruelty free, so I'm not going to share it. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to get ready together. I'm going to do some videos. Um, I haven't filmed in months, so I don't really, I don't know, I feel weird doing this. <laughs> um, but I have a new backdrop. I thought it would be more bright and fun to have a bright backdrop than a dreary black one so um I'm gonna do eyes first um and I'm gonna use the Colourpop Cute AF palette to do a warm tone look today um so let's see since I since my last video um, let's see, uh, I know I did a, like, an update kind of video, like, where I've been, what I've been doing, but I didn't really give a lot of explanation about what exactly was going on. Um, there's a lot that I'm still not going to dive into just because of personal reasons, and, um, I really don't want to bring that kind of negativity back into my life um but um when I got back from Japan um things just kind of went crazy um I did a lot of kind of soul searching in Japan and kind of realized who I was and what I wanted in life and kind of reconnected with who I am and who I want in my life. Um, so that was a really, really good trip for me. Um, I really enjoyed myself. I had an amazing time. Um, but as soon as I got back, my anxiety and depression kind of hit the lowest it's been in years um 
did some things to myself that I'm not going to repeat um, and lost some friends in that process but I feel like because I am a suppressor that it was prolonging the inevitable of me having a breakdown um, so it just kind of happened um, but I learned who my real friends were my true friends the ones that were going to be there for me the ones that actually stood up for me and didn't really blame me for what I did or what happened and I'm very very grateful for that um, but it took me a few months to get out of that funk because I didn't eat, I didn't sleep, I just kind of blacked out for a few months. Um, I don't really remember much except just kind of not wanting to feel. Um, so I got into playing like a lot of games to just kind of take my mind off everything. But you know, I realized that not everybody is going to have my best intention at heart and you know that's fine you know I shouldn't have to deal with someone else's vision of me and be that person that I'm not for them so you know I cut off a few people I didn't really want to but I realized that for my mental health it was probably the best choice of action to do um, I just I wish them well in life and you know part of me wants to have no hard feelings but I'm a Scorpio through and through and I get those moments where I'm gonna be salty and uh, you know think about it and get really mad but I'm trying not to. I'm really, I'm really trying to be good and not like be mad about it. So I'm working on that. I'm working on my anger, working on forgiving. Um, ooh. Um, but after a while of just kind of being numb, I got back into searching for a job and I found one that I am so in love with. I love where I work now um everyone is super sweet and just the best and I love them with my entire heart I will fight for these girls that I work with because they are the sweetest I think this is the first place that I have worked at that I haven't actively wanted to die every single day like I enjoy going to work working also helped take my mind off everything because he <laughs> a boy was messed up in the head I'm still working on losing weight. Um, I am down 73 pounds of, from today uh, from my original weight and I have less than 30 pounds to go which I am super excited. Um, now I'm not trying to get like super super skinny or like anything like that. I just want to be healthy. Um, I want to be at least under 200 pounds um that is my official goal i have a little bit more to go but um i don't want to be like a size 2 or anything like i'll be happy in a size 18 16 18 wherever that uh leads me um once i get under 200 pounds um because i'm thick and not a good thick uh so yeah i've been working hard on that and trying to go back to the gym but um it's been hard I turned 30 in November which is weird didn't think I'd live this long but you know here we are 30 years later hello um but as soon as I turned 30 um I started having a lot of back problems like I've had back problems my entire life but it started getting really freaking painful so I went to the doctor and they were like yeah you have scoliosis um so you're gonna have to do physical therapy so that's fun I've been going to physical therapy and shit hurts 
so I've been going to that. I haven't been going in like a few weeks because of the holidays, but you know, trying to multitask with work and um, physical therapy and life and gym and all that kind of stuff. So it's just been a very hectic time. And hopefully somewhere around February, uh, things will slow down. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's see. What else can I update you guys on? Um, I don't really know. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm still struggling a bit with my mental health. Like, I have my good days and my bad days, obviously. Um, some days I wake up and I'm fine, but other days I wake up and I'm, like, really depressed and kind of struggling. Um, but, you know, I'm trying to take it one day at a time. It's really hard to, like, accept your feelings and deal with it because I don't, like I said, I'm a suppressor. I like to suppress my feelings and not deal with them because, you know, I hate... I hate feeling like I do most of the time. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, how I've been lately. Um, when I kind of filmed my, like, what's going on, like, where am I video, I was not really in a good place mentally. I was really kind of upset like literally that day a lot of stuff went down so I was like upset and um I actually wanted to film that day but something had happened and I wasn't able to so yeah I've just I've been trying to focus on taking care of my mental health and I was like you know I really wanted to do a vlogmas this year because I've been doing it for the past few years but I know uh, winter is usually a really crappy month for my mental health and because I was working I didn't really know if I was going to be able to keep up with it um, so I didn't do it and um, I mean my depression wasn't too bad this winter because I was so busy with work um so that was a plus um I was busy with work and then whenever I wasn't I immersed myself into a critical role which I am so glad that I got into so I got really into critical role I started watching the first campaign at the beginning of the not the first campaign the second campaign at the beginning of the year beginning of last year um and then I was like I want to see the first campaign so I can be caught up with all the madness and uh I was not ready for those feels so that really like immersing myself into uh something was a really great coping mechanism I found <laughs> um and so I binged the entire first campaign and I love it so much and I love Dungeons and Dragons so much like I have only gotten to play it recently this year well this past year I keep thinking it's 2018 it's 2019 excuse me <laughs> I'm literally all over the place but I just got to play it with my friend Heather this past year and I love it so much and it's thanks to this show that I am able to play and I love it so much. So Critical Role really helped me get through a lot of depression and helped me kind of cope with things. And I was able to cry and laugh and just kind of get out all these emotions that I had suppressed inside of me. And it kind of helped. So I pretty much binged it like all of the episodes in like a month um yeah yeah that's when I wasn't like sleeping or anything <laughs> so 
so yeah I don't think that was healthy but um it really it really helped me mentally um I'm gonna set my face if I can find my powder okay so we're gonna be doing a, another campaign soon hopefully um I'll be able to join as much as I can I know they probably want to do on the weekends and I work pretty much every weekend um, every now and then I'll get a Saturday off and I'll be like, yes, freedom, but, um, I'm gonna, I'm really excited, even if I don't get to go every time, you know, just playing a little bit will be good for me, getting out, seeing friends, um, because I've literally been inside my house, the only place I really go anymore is work, so that will help me a lot mentally and just kind of surround myself with people that actually care about me and my mental health and don't use it as a weapon against me uh so yeah um i've kind of gotten back into my love of cosplay just recently um if you follow me on my instagram you'll see a few um posts that i've done um i've been trying to keep up with makeup looks on my Instagram and like when I go to work and stuff of course I have to like bake the face and stuff so I've been keeping up with that so that's always a plus and so I've been posting on my Instagram more of like makeup looks and stuff like that so you know I'm just trying to keep myself in the doing makeup and stuff uh, at the beginning of last year, I did a lot of makeup gigs and stuff, um, for music videos. I did a bunch of stuff for Alan Z, who's an incredible artist. Um, if you have not checked him out, do so. I'll link him below. He's amazing. Um, and I hope to get to work with him again this year, because that will be awesome. Um, but yeah, I, like... As far as like resolutions for this year like my only really big resolution is like to continue to get to my goal weight um and you know it's really about it I mean last year I had like all these fun lofty goals like travel more and you know hang out with friends more and make more friends and something inside and like all this stuff and it's just like it's kind of like you know the only thing I'm really gonna focus on is getting to my goal weight um but I really don't have anything else I really want to accomplish this year like I would like to go to Dragon Con this year if I can um I would like to kind of go out more if I can um it's really hard when you don't have a car and uh like your friends are so far away and you know stuff like that and um you know it's it can be kind of rough but I mean I don't really mind staying at home I'm I've kind of become more of a homebody anyways all right so I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. I need all the concentration in the world. Phone's been ringing off the hook today, so it's been hard to film. <laughs> uh. gonna try to film some stuff today I'm gonna do a fashion haul um, some empties cuz I literally have like six months of empties um, and try to do some other stuff I'm gonna try to do at least one video a week um, we'll see how that goes cuz um, yeah I want to get back into YouTube but you know with my new schedule of everything I don't know how I'll be able to 
like do like two videos a week like I was doing um so I'm just gonna play it by ear but at least I'll have some videos ready to go for you guys and have some content even though you know I'm not making any money but I still love doing it so you know um I know some people are probably like upset that I'm still here but you know I love I love doing YouTube it's it's fun for me and I appreciate the people that have like reached out to me and were like hey I hope you're doing okay and like you guys have meant the world to me like people were reaching out to me on Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and were like are you okay what's going on you know stuff like that and that meant the world to me so thank you to those that reached out to me and were like hey what's going on you okay are you done with YouTube what's going on you know and I'm not done. <laughs> um, I'm still gonna do YouTube as long as I can. Um, and uh, yeah, because I love it. I really like doing YouTube. I really like making videos. Um, like, I feel like I've kind of run out of ideas though, but if you have any like suggestions, let me know down below. Because um, I'm kind of like, I don't really know what to film anymore. Like, I have a few ideas for, like, some series, but I don't know if you guys would like makeup series anymore or what you guys would like to see. You want to see more plus size fashion stuff or makeup stuff or what? I don't know. <laughs> so let me know what you guys would like to see because I'm all about that. Um, just let, let me know. And I can definitely do some things. Um, I can do some more cosplay stuff because I'm going to be working on some cosplay soon. I'm going to do one for MomoCon because I'm going to at least try to go like one day. Um, and I have one cosplay I want to do. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to do Dragon Con this year and of course AWA because I go every single year. Um, and yeah. So, and I'd like to go to more, like, out-of-state cons if I can. Like, maybe not this year, obviously, because, you know, I'm just getting my feet off the ground again. But maybe next year, like, I have a plan for an out-of-state con next year, so I hope it, I hope it works out. I'm not gonna, um, you know too much about it but I'm just hoping it goes okay I'm gonna put on some eyeliner because eyeliner is life um but yeah just let me know what you guys would want to see I'm up for anything if you guys like these let me know like I don't know I tend to babble a lot and just kind of um talk a lot <laughs> Alright, so eyes are done, face is done, just gonna add a dark lipstick to go with it. Feeling very folly today, and it just fell out of the tube. <laughs> Perfect representation of my, uh, my struggles right now. Um, but yeah, I guess if you guys have any recommendations or any questions, Feel free to leave them below. I am up for anything. Um, yeah. I'm just, I am, I don't know what to do, so. Alright, and that is the finished look. Um, I'm gonna film some videos today for you guys. And try to get them edited today, because I have today and hopefully tomorrow off. Um, before the big weekend rush that we usually do um but yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to click the thumbs up and subscribe and hit the little notification bell to be notified of every single upload i put here on my channel thank you guys for dealing with my extended absence for a bit and um i'm gonna do my best to try to do more things for you so Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!